I love my new studio. I love how it came out. It's so pretty. It's totally different from what it used to look like before. This is what it looked like before. It was just two double doors and my sewing machine was right there. Anyways, this is Inia Install and welcome to this place. I'm going to show you today how I achieved this look. Let's get into the video. So today to do this, I had to order this sets from Amazon. It was a backdrop set and it was so long, but it wasn't wide enough the way I wanted it to cover my entire two double doors. <laughs> storeroom so what i did was because of the length the length was super long it was almost like 30 inches longer than what i needed so what i did was to come up with this plan to have it like drape up in such a way that it has this frills on top so in order for me to do that i had to measure the length that i wanted and also how much i have to take out now it was a lot that I took out because after taking out like almost 30 inches, I still had like enough to cover the entire, entire wall all the way from top to bottom. So with that, I understand that I needed to fold in like 26, I think it was about 26 inches in. So that's what I did. I folded 26 inches in and, um, I did it all the way to the other side so straight off 26 inches and then i'm going to since i needed like the frills on top to show i'm going to measure four inch from uh once each side from one side to the other and um i would draw a straight line after i do that so what i was doing right there was to connect measure four inches at every five inches away from another so that i can connect all the dots so i did that for four inches i'm going to also measure like another two inches the reason i'm measuring two inches is because i'm going to pass this cutting through a pole the pole i'm going to pass it through would be like what i'm going to connect it i hang it on so the circumference for the pole is four inch and since this fabric is folded into two inch, I need to divide four inch by two to give me the amount, the size, the, the amount I need to measure. So I did that and I drew the same line, one line all the way. So I have a measurement at four inch and I have another one at six inch. So I'm going to just sew a straight line on it. I'm going to do it for both the six inch and also for the four inch. And when I completely do, when I'm complete, I'm also going to do it for each of the other three pieces. You remember I told you there were two sets. Each has two pieces of cuttings in it. So I have a total of four. So if I complete this, I'm going to sew the rest of it. And then I'm going to install it. You will love how it came out. Of course, you've seen it. So just watch and see. It's just a straight sew. It's super easy. All I needed to do was to draw the initial straight line at 4 inch. And then another straight line at 6 inch. Giving me the 4 inch circumference. Yeah, 4 inch circumference at the middle. So I can hang my cut in there. So completely. Here, I think I did run out of thread. So I'm just going to already rolled one rubbing so i'm just gonna take out the one and then this place it with the new one so keep Shake watching it, baby, and you see what i did with the cuttings Shake it like a mother, baby.
so we're completely done and i'm down to the last cutting so this is number four and i'm gonna pass it through i just wanted you to see how i pass it through the pool like it was easy i did install this one myself it's self-explanatory it's easy but it on amazon and i installed it so now i'm just gonna pass it through you know it's i'm gonna pass the pole through the middle of that two inch that i sewed out so i'm gonna pass it all the way and then i'm gonna make sure it's all tightly neatly of tight you know kind of make sure that i just pass it all the way so that the frills on top can stay stand on its own now mind you the make sure to not have so much space within the circumference so if it's four inch try to stay at four inch if it's less than four inch try to sew at less than four inch that way as the cloth passes through the pole or the pole passes through the cloth it just stays tight enough so that the frills on top can stay perfect so see that and then i'm just trying to push it all the way so that they can support the frills to stand on its own it's it's easier the shorter the frills the better it stands so this is like four inch so you can imagine like it might be a little bit more challenging to stand if it was like one inch it would just stay up there on its own but this four inch makes it like even more challenging but anyways it stayed well it's looking all good and i'm so excited about how it came out so this is what it looks like it looks really cute i love it i do love it. i like how it came out the choice of red carpet red curtains it was red carpet idea that just made me like okay let me see i don't want a red carpet but i want a red curtain and i got a pink carpet and let's talk about those little curtains this one this it's nice this is what it was before and this is what it looks like right now and i love how it came out before and after and this shelf i did install it myself i got it from amazon and i it's self-explanatory it was easy it was everything and also when i did start installing it i noticed that it was dark so i got those white lights here we go on this one i'm gonna take you to a road trip to akia akia i heard has this peg but system that works really good so i was like okay i want it easy i want something simple i want something easy to install and i want something that i don't need to paint or make any changes to it just something i can buy and then bring out of the box and just install and then i'm ready to go so ikea has that product so what i did was i just traveled the way to ikea it was far but I like it it was on what it, it was what the travel when i got there i saw the system that really was so cute and i was i overbought actually i i bought extra stuff which i'm yet to take back because i was like yeah i'm gonna take this back and get because i didn't use everything that i got from there so i like that it was it was so good it was expensive but it was worth it i just I got something else. I'm just going to share with you all of the items that I bought. But the road trip was worth it. I just had time to like reflect and think about how I wanted the other touches to my my storeroom, my studio, my office room, everything, how it should look like. So I was just thinking and then I had a, I had a nice time driving to Ikea. And when I got there, it was good. But unfortunately for me, my phone died. <laughs> it was crazy. I didn't know why. So we are here at Ikea now. And this is the outside. So we're just going to head into the place. My plan was to show you everything inside. But when I got there, the phone died. So I just got all the items. And those are the the pegboard and this uh, accessories that i bought with it i also bought this like um yeah trash can it's so cute you know and i'm just gonna share with you like the, the, those are the system ikea system it is nice 
I love this particular one because I had this three stuff I bought. You would just see. I just wanted. I know it's going so fast. I wanted to show you. Like I am excited. It's so. It's so cute and unique. Like it's just so nice. Like and then he has this little clips and um, that I also get. There's just a lot of items. Like you have magazine racks there. Yeah, like it was just so many, many cute stuff. I was just buying and buying. I was excited. And then that robe, all of that. You're going to see how it looks like after I install it. But it was just a whole lot. Like it's so much more. There's also the clip, you know, that you could use to like clip stuff. I have a lot of things that I can put there. But I just put like a, all of the items that I use every day. So this is the install. So right now. I was just trying to figure out because the first box I opened, it didn't have like the man, um, manual and it was crazy because like the other ones had it. So I was just trying to figure it out myself. I was just assuming like sometimes I feel like I know the stuff and then I come again and I fail and then I try to figure it out. So here I was trying to figure out thinking that, yeah, this is how it's going to work but that wasn't so i did kind of had to change stuff around later when i found out the box that actually had a manual and i realized i was doing it wrong in the first place so but then i figured you know and it came out really well i tried i tried i must give it to me because this is my first time and i think i did good i think i did great so it was almost perfect so yep the first one was installed wrong you can you, you can see that already so the second one I, I knew what i was doing at this point so i just tried to like you know get it right you know sometimes this is crazy yeah that part i wonder why it's there because i so yep So did all that and then installed my IKEA system. I did that for four of because I got four and it's like I think it's 22 by 22 is a square. So I did like have 22 by 24, two times four. That's like a 44 by 44, which is like bam. Well, I did install. I don't know what I am doing right there, but it's, yeah, I told you. I was not perfect. I was just trying to figure this out. But I did it. So uh, I completely installed that. Keep watching. This is what it looks like. It looks so pretty. I have this magazine rack. I put my magazine and books. And then I put all the items 
that I got the shelves is one. Oh, this is my office. So most of the items that I have in this mini office space, I got it from Amazon. Some of them were recycled. The table, this desk was recycled. The other one was recycled, but not the not the desktop though. The desktop was not from Amazon. So I did make that shelf that is on the other side. And I'm going to show you how I did install the shelf. Now, I, this is how I installed the shelf, but not the exact shelf, but the brother of the shelf. Because I did pre-install this. So when I saw that the one I installed here did not suit this storeroom, closet, uh, basement, slash sewing room, slash office space, slash studio, all of that, I had to replace it with this one that I had previously. So this is how I installed it. So just keep watching. It's self-explanatory. I also got this from Amazon and I was able to install it myself. It was easy and it was fast. I think I did it within an hour or something like that. You know. So like I said, it's the twin brother or sister of that one. So this is another item that I installed. Again, I had to bring the twin brother because it didn't, this color didn't match the color that I wanted. So just watch and see how I installed. It was just super fast, but I did all of the stuff myself. And um, if you see that the colors are different, that's because I did both, but I had to remove this one and replace it with 
the twin sister, if you know what I mean. So enjoy the watch. So finally, this is what it looks like. Now, welcome to my new studio room, office room, 
laundry room, sewing room, it's all the rooms. So right there is my rack. It has like, I have a couple of things I made this year, 2021. And that's the top thing I made 2021 is um, bikini cover and um, a pant and a top. So for those lovers of uh, summer who are ready to just like rock their bikini outfit without like actually wearing a bikini, but just wearing a pant or something, this is something for you. So I do like that it keeps bringing me back to the stuff. I don't know. You know, the fabric was not originally made for my cutting. It was made for this design. And I just felt like when I got inspired to make a cutting out of it, I was like, why not? And I love both ways. It came out well as this bikini thing. And it also, it's so great as a cutting. So if you do love this bikini and you want to see how I made it, just leave a comment like subscribe and tell me exactly it's what you want to see now for this curtains like i said earlier it was made out of that fabric it's an ankara african ankara fabric and the best part of it it's the way it's sculpted. this space my office space i love it i could stand or sit depends on how i'm feeling like it's just super cute. It's very, it's like, it's like no spacious, but he has everything that I need, like neatly fitted into this mini office, you know, right there, happening right there. You know, it's, I'm, I'm so excited that this is a very functional space for me, very functional space for me. And um, I like it. I just want to share it with you. I have my board right there and I love the way the cutting came out. This space, like I also have those two curtains right there that covers those windows and it's all good. I have my shelf. I have my pegboard. This is how we ended up. I have the racks for the pegboard and I also have like everything that I use regularly right there on the board so i could just grab and go i don't need to move around he has everything and hope always i just want to show you how beautiful those lights are because it, it made the shelf look like pretty cute i love it you could just turn down the light now uh, you can turn it up you can put it in minutes like tell it like how long you want it to be on for and it's just a remote control. It's pretty on and off, increase, reduce, make it a hundred percent, ten percent, and then you could time it. It has a timer as well. You could set it for like twenty, sixty, or even ten minutes. You know, full of light, and then it goes off on its own. It's pretty cute. And also this space i covered it with a curtain which somebody gave me from japan i had it somewhere else but it just came functional that's my dress form and then the mats that i have those are my regular sewing machine and the fabrics that i do want to work with uh this is my sojo is a juki industrial sojo and then my industrial straight sewing machine that's my go-to machine so i kind of lined them up i didn't know what to do with that space but i left it left the machine there so it just takes less space and then remember how i said the brother of the install i made this is it right here and i also had like a pink carpet this is right carpet so red red backdrop pink carpet is what i'm going for with like taking pictures of my studio so this is what this pretty studio looks like it looks small but it looks very functional a lot of things happen here there's a lot of space everywhere where i can store things that i don't want to use in here we are let's do some pictures right there Are you